Greetings everyone. In today's video, I'm going to speak about the change of fortune bundle and how to be efficient with the real event, actually getting more and more from it, unlike uh, regular players or just playing the event without doing any calculations or math. In today's video, I'm going to explain to you as if you were a very small spender, low spender, basically, who can afford like $15, one five, by the way, uh, through three weeks, since this event comes after every two weeks, the third week usually becomes the wheel event. I'm going to show you the way I play this event as a very low spender, and I would actually show you a couple of tricks that you could use and do some math with you to show you that this event can actually be one of the best events for you to earn speed ups. However, if you decided to use your gems on this event, your value will be little less. No, it's going to be less, not little less, less. The reason is simple. If you pay attention at the event itself, uh, you will see that while you are playing this event, there are some items not really much of value, even when it comes to speed ups, because one of these items actually if you want to buy one token, token will cost you 700 gems. And 700 gems is a lot. If we take uh, a look at what it offers you, yes, it does offer resources, but resources comes for free. As for the speed ups, it offers you 15 hours. But if you had the VIP 7 or 8, I'm not sure, you can just buy the speed ups way, way, way much cheaper here. Like I get my speed ups. Each one of these is 240, and that's a guaranteed speed ups, not even gems. Look, here, uh, that's an example for you. If I decided like to buy speed ups from here, uh, I think I can get three eight hours for almost 700 gems, which is the cost of this event of basically one token. Uh, and assuming I am lucky, by the way, so. If I'm going to buy and invest this event, I will first pay attention to the type of the wheel. For example, I don't like this hero. I never was a fan of infantry and I really don't agree that she's the strongest even if people are saying so. Let's say I, I want to save up for a future hero. What I'm supposed to do? Look, you have three tries. As you can see, I have been stacking my tries every single time because it counts towards the guaranteed premium reward. The premium reward here is someone like the Vol Hero. So, for example, if you used your three free, I use my three, they will be taken over until the next event, and so on. It doesn't matter. This transfers to every single event. So, I did it like this is my third time, and say so I have seven. Seven means I am closer, more closer to the chance of getting my premium and once you get the premium it resets so all you got to do is literally play the free and only invest once the hero you want is there but do not ignore the first and second bundle and the reason is look the reason for this is the following during the events if, if you try to purchase uh, for the love of god if you try to purchase the bundles they have two deals the first deal over five only the second deal offers 10 which is way much better let's buy the 10 and then you will understand why i do not go above 10. now i bought the 10. if i decided to buy the 20 dollars i will lose 25 percent value of the bundle you are going to lose value of the bundles like look now you are losing 25 percent if you decided to spend more money so that's what i usually do okay i i wait up and i get the 15 every single week so for example as you can see i bought the tokens and i never use them the token still goes all the way with you like whenever you have a new events or something you can just play that event using those discounted bundle and play yours while at the same time having more chance or higher chance of getting the premium reset but if you decided to invest from here you will be forced to spend a lot of gems and keep in mind something if you decided to buy 
you are going to spend seven thousand gems seven thousand gems for ten tries and the chances you are getting fragment it's not really a lot like if i use 10 right now maybe i will gonna get two or three it is really really rare to get your hero because it's like 2.5 percent if you uh did read the description it says it's 2.5 but it says here too each day you can enjoy one free spin that does not count towards the total spin limit but it does count towards the premium reward which means if you keep being patient the next time you put your tokens alongside you will start with an extra push of the upcoming hero like let's say uh, you have used your free tries right now and you didn't get the hero you want the next time uh, this wheel comes or a new hero comes with a new wheel you can actually abuse this and get the premium on the new hero alongside a reward because you are patient you have been patient and you put only the five and ten dollars and you never use them and the tokens do transfer for the next wheel which again is going to reward you more so if you are a patient person you are going to get more rewards and that's what i actually wanted to explain to you through this video point number one use your free tokens point number two buy the five and ten dollars only point number three get the profit and use your tokens during the wheel that you want and never invest in a single wheel unless you really are prepared to pay a lot of money but honestly the this bundle is one of the best bundles in the game that would offer you speed ups because as i said if just if you just hit the speed up once then you have gotten already a higher value than a five dollar bundle that's it guys and have a wonderful day